Franco oh. gets hit. Yeah, well, I'll like tell it. you what, yeah. kid. And Manoa comes charging in. Yeah. Orioles bench yeah. coming out. Brandon Hyde trying to hold his guys back. Now here come the bullpens. Well, you in don't, from you just field. don't want guys getting uh, suspended. That's all. Well, back to back yeah. home runs, and then you get drilled. Pretty suspicious. Yeah. Brandon Hyde yeah. trying to be a peacemaker. Well, and the only reason you're out here is because you got a young pitcher that, tell you what, it, you threw them. You know, yeah. the major league hitters are getting paid to hit home runs. If you're going to be bad, if you're going to throw balls down the middle. Two skippers yelling at each other. Montoya and Hyde having words. I never understood why the bullpen just didn't have a fight out in left field. You <laughs> right, know, they have to run in, right? all the way into. <laughs> Let's just meet out in center field and save, but, save the space. Now the umpires are meeting, Jim, and yeah. that conversation is are they going to issue warnings? Well, right? there should be a yeah. warning. But, you know, that's But do they go is, both ways? Well, it does. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, maybe they he's, did. he's been ejected. Well, I don't like this either. Yeah, you but can't read minds. You can. You... Uh, yeah. He's gone. Now, did it happen? Was it the pitch or something after? Nope. I think they just. They appeal and he goes. Back to back strikeouts by Diaz. And Votto, not too pleased with it. No, but he did. I, I, I mean, the reality is, is he went. You know, you gotta do. And now Votto and David Bell are out. Well, this has been a season for Votto showing. A lot more emotion than he has historically, and Bell is no stranger from getting run himself. Avada will not leave the field. A short day for Joey Votto. I'd like to have his numbers. High fly ball, yeah, center yeah, field. Yeah. It's deep. Back, 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 and out of here. Yeah. Out of room. Orioles pull within one on the Mount Castle bomb to center field. It's 2-1 Toronto in the second. Ryan Mount Castle slugs it out to the deepest part of the park. 417 feet. 417 foot shot. There's a line drive down the left field line. And this one is out of here. A home run! Ryan Mountcastle hits his second of the game, and the Orioles have taken a 4-2 lead. That was a line drive missile off the bat of Mountcastle. It was just going to be a matter, Brett. Was it going to be high enough to get over the wall? Because this one was a scud. There's a shot down the left field line. He has done it again. Ryan Mountcastle with three home runs. Ryan Mountcastle making a three home run game. Six to two Orioles. Ryan Mountcastle, the power surge against Toronto. Another long one from Ryan Mountcastle, 407 feet. High and deep to right field. I think he's got another one way back. It is gone. Cedric Mullins continues to crush opponents pitching. 12th homer of the year. That gives him a tie for the club lead with Trey Mancini. I think it hurt his feelings when Mountcastle became American League Player of the Week a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> to be honest. A game where a team, all of its. There's a shot. Maybe we got another one. Way back. Uh -oh. He's got another one. Wow. Cedric Mullins leaves the yard, and the hits just keep on coming. Six hits, all home runs. Second of the game for Mullins. His fourth in the last two games, and now he has the team lead with 13 on the season. For just a towering shot to center, and then the laser. That's oh. hit well. DJ Stewart. Whoa. He. <laughs> Hardly left the box. He knew he got all of Boy, that. Was one. that a long way? That is a loud one. And suddenly, the Orioles really laying some lumber 
on Alec Manoa. Well, they are doing what usually the Blue Jays do to other teams, which is just bludgeon the baseball.